Hello, this is the Phantom Safety Pin, and welcome back to Let's Play Eldritch. Alright, you might notice I have a different amount of health and a different amount of, uh, money. And our Shoggoth buddy is kind of, unfortunately, gone. Well, what ended up happening was, um, when I went to go record the Nyarlai Hotep stage, I actually kind of died. And you only have one life in this game, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit of a problem. I will try to keep the disgusting, uh, noise smacking sounds to minimum. I just so happen to have ice cream. Coffee flavored ice cream, in fact. And actually, fun fact, uh, coffee flavored ice cream was one of HP Lovecraft's favorite types of ice cream. It's really good coffee ice cream, too. But enough, uh, ice cream, we, you probably want us to, uh, head into this next book. The Book of Nyarlathotep. Now, this book happens to be one of my favorite books. Partially because of the theming, partially because of that awesome music, and partially because it's all about stealth. Oh jeez! It really does remind me of the game Thief a bit in parts. Ah! Oh dear. I have no idea what that is, but it's terrifying. Stay away from him. He's a freak. I don't like him. Maybe we can, uh... I hear water. Hmm. Sounds like it's coming from over there. Oh, by the way, off-screen, I did get the amulet I was looking for. The Destruction Amulet. It is a small stone emblazoned with a red star. It makes our attacks more damaging, but that's not its only effect. It does have one other one. Yep, we can officially... Oh, hello burrow through walls now. My goodness, two fountains right next to each other? Hmm. Either Nyarla Hotep is tricking us, as he is wont to do, as is befitting a chaos god, or we just got lucky. I'm inclined to believe it's just Nyarli tricking us. So a little bit about, uh, a little bit about, uh, Nyarla Hotep and the theming of this level. This particular level's theme, well, you can learn a little bit more about Yarly by clicking on the altar sign in the corner over there, wherever I end up sticking it. But, uh, this level is not themed around any per- Oh, hello! Oh, jeez, don't scare me like that! I think I can trap him. Hey! Hey! I think I can get him over here. Let me see if I can do it. Whoops. Ah, well, that'll do it. He can't find me now. Oh, jeez! Come here. Come here! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get over here. You heard me. I think... He's now trapped. He's trapped. Okay, good. Jeez, those things creep me out. I have no idea what they are, but they're freaky as hell. Now, as I was saying, this particular level has no connection to any specific H.P. Lovecraft story. Um, I think the closest one it does have a connection to is the short story Nyarla Hotep, which actually features the god in question as a traveling magician of sorts. Sort of an illusionist. Which I find very, very fitting for the crawling chaos. So. Ah! We have broken into the first national bank of Black Pharaoh. Excellent. Lots of money to be found here. A little bit stingy with the money in the- oh dear. Here comes our next new enemy. If I can get this cultist to get out of my way so I don't- ah. You'll excuse me. Now these particular guys, yeah, they're a little- I suppose I should show you what they do. Ah! <laughs> Very effective. Thank you, Mr. Lizard Statue. Yes. These guys are effectively weeping angels. They effectively very effectively, might I add. 
pretty much, uh, sneak up on you and do just that if you wake them up. So, my suggestion, just don't wake them up. You don't want to wake them up. They're the bad news, bears. But now that he's all blocked off, he shouldn't be bothering us anymore. At least not him. Oh, there's plenty more scissor statues in this level. Believe me. Now, the Book of Nirala Hotep has a particularly interesting, particularly difficult set of uh, criteria for reading it. Ah! This type of door. Allow me to show you what's underneath these. Yeah. Don't fall for that trap. Those spikes are nasty. They do two damage. They are really not worth it. Uh, I thought there was a secret hidey hole back there. I guess not. Usually there is. I guess I hit the pillar instead. You might notice these rooms are all- Ah! Another new trap. The trip wire. Tripping over one will do two damage, as will, do, as will any trap. Ah, the store. Hey, look at this lizard man! It's a lizard man! The lizard man regards you indifferently. All are welcome here, stranger. You won't find any better prices on such quality goods. Hey, you didn't hiss your second ass! You know, I want my money back! You know, there's certain things I expect of a lizard man. There's certain things I expect you to do. And hissing all of your asses is one of them. Ah, baked meat. I could use the health. Like I said, this level has a reputation for... difficulty. And don't worry, I did see that dynamite. I haven't forgotten. My abortion! <laughs> Did it give us a nice little way to get down? Yes, it did! Excellent, and we don't even- Ah! Interesting, we found a little hidden area. Yes, the uh, Book of Nyarlai Hotep has a lot of little hidden areas like this. All over the place, just waiting for you to find them. Oh! Hello there! Now these guys are a little bit too tall to get out, but I think I might as well block them off. There. He shouldn't be bothering us much any later. He shouldn't be bothering us later from that. Oh dear. Did I just see an eye bibble? I saw an eye bibble. Gotta shoot it down. Okay, so now, where was that tunnel he led to? Ah, there it is. And there's our creepy friend now. You know, I have no idea what exactly they're supposed to represent. Ah! I have a sneaking suspicion they may be based upon the great race of Yith just because they're conical, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. How did you get in here? My goodness. Who locked you up and why? Did Yarly lock you up? Dear goodness gravy. Ah, another one! <sighs> well, I didn't mean to loot that corpse, but okay. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, the kid gloves have come off. This is the part of the game where the game has decided to know. You've been playing me for a little while. I'm gonna show you what I can really do. And how, how apropos for the only level named after an actual outer god. Ah, I think I woke up the- Oh, okay. Yeah. Lovely stars over there. Lots of money. Ah, hey. A resonant statue. Statue to, uh, Ithaqua over here, but, uh, well... I don't really need a Thakwa's power, so I'm gonna keep on trucking. So, we've got our stuff. Let's see if we can find any more goodies to steal from the tomb of the Black Pharaoh. Ow! Mother Hydra, seriously? Ugh! Oh, locksmith kit. By the way, all the locksmith kit does is, uh... It's, it allows you to open locks without using keys. It's not too great or important. Nothing over there. Nothing over th Ah. Well, that leads back out, but what good does that do me? I want to go... here. Ah. Oh, I hear somebody coming. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see what happened? That dude peeked around the corner at his buddy and he died. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. Okay. 
Well, you know, the quickest route is to the source. So let's head on down. Oh, how very regal we have a little thing here. Very interesting. Ah, another lizard statue. Let's just, uh, take care of him before he causes us trouble later. Now, all right. Very delicate operation here. And they can't see behind them. Oh, more tripwires. Not too dangerous, but if you're running through here real fast, which you absolutely cannot do, don't run through here real fast. If it's one thing you learn from this game, don't run through here real fast. Oh, hi, other lizard statue. Oh, hi, lizard man! Oh, goodness, Gravy. Who's coming? Ah! Where did you come from? I have no idea where you came from, but my compulsion! Ah, oh, this level is really bringing out the compulsion in me. I really need to be a little more careful on what I'm doing. My compulsion! God damn it. I blame I blame Nyarla Hotep for this. Because Nyarla Hotep is a dick. You know, if, if it's one thing you take away from this game, you guys, it's that Nyarla Hotep is a dick. Let that be the one thing you take away from this game. Oh. Again, one of those trap doors. Another thing you should take away from this game. If you see one of these, it's a trap! It's always a trap. No exceptions. Okay, well, there's no trip wires there. I was hoping for trip wires so I could get the bullets. And, well, nothing there. Do, do, do. Where am I? I really love the music in this stage. It's just so epic and creepy. This track is named The Lost City, by the way. Which is weird because there was a track later named Nyala Hotep, and I think I think this track should be named Nyala Hotep and the other track The Lost City. Maybe it's just me. Maybe the title got switched. Hey, a secret! Oh. Well, that wasn't a very good secret, now was it? Ah! What's this? Ah, okay, it's another room. I wasn't sure what it was, wanted to see. Ah! <laughs> you are no match for my superior stealthing abilities. Oh. <laughs> Well, that wasn't quite as stealthy as I would have liked to be, but... Compulsion! Blow up! Thank you. Ah, one of these rooms. Oh, hi, I see you. Oh. No, 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 no! 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 Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh dear! Oh no! Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there's two of you! Oh dear! Oh goodness! Goodness gravy! Ah! Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. This is a very big problem. Hi! 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 But you can quickly see how dangerous this level becomes, and that's why I have the health kit for assurance. The health kit will let us pretty much restore health whenever we need it. It'll pretty much save us from death. Oh my god. Oh, sweet buttery Azathoth. What? What? Gnarly, why? Gnarly, why? What purpose does this- Oh. Oh. Let's not go that direction. What purpose does this room serve? It's just a room that leads to nowhere. I don't understand. <laughs> ah, I'm risking my life on some toxic fruit, but that's okay. Okay. Well. You know, it's alright, because if I lock this gate... It can't get me. Now you can't get out. You're too tall. How's that feel? Again, these pointless rooms are confusing and bizarre to me, and I don't understand. Like I said, Nyala Hotep is insane troll god. This is what he does. This is exactly the kind of shit he does. 
Oh, I hit the wrong edge. That's what I that's not what I wanted to do at all. Ah Speedy Boots. That's not what we need right now, so we're just gonna mosey on over. Ah, another lizard statue. Block it off. There we go. The lucky charm! It's a great little tool, but uh I'm not gonna use it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, gravy. Oh no. By the way, as long as you have something solid between- What purpose does that tripwire up there serve? Or that one- I don't know. Yarlahotep, your, your, your trumple makes no sense. Okay, I am gonna end up waking this up because I need this trap uh, tripwire. But only because I need the tripwire. I am gonna block this guy off so he can't bother us later. There we go. But yes, this particular area, uh, area of the game does have a reputation for being quite terrifying if you're wondering why it's those lizard statues. Hands down, full stop, that is what makes this game scary. Alright, I think I've got it. Yes, good, excellent. <laughs> we are moving on up. Hey, another one of those areas. Ah, a destruction amulet. Too bad we already have one, but I will take this delicious meat. Delicious, delicious meat. Always eat meat. It heals your wounds. If it's one thing you take from this game, it's to always eat your meat. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat any meat? So. I am going to kill this shop figure, because the only good lizard man is a dead lizard man. Yes, I am very xenophobic to uh, non-human entities. Why, why do you ask? Hey, you know what? I used to be an investigator. Give, give me a break. I've never had a lizard man not try to kill me. Last time I was involved with the horrors of the mythos, one of my uh, team members... <laughs> oh my god, I had the funniest story. Uh... One time I was playing Call of Cthulhu with some friends. It was the first RPG I had ever played. The first tabletop RPG. How'd you get in there? <laughs> anyway. It was the first RPG I had ever played. The first tabletop RPG, anyway. And, uh... The person who ended up... We ended up being, uh... The Delta Green agents. And basically what Delta Green is, is in Call of Cthulhu. We were playing Call of Cthulhu... They're basically the Lovecraftian Ghostbusters. They're the they're the uh, HP Lovecraft type Ghostbusters. The Cthulhu with those Ghostbusters, pretty much. So we were all Delta Green agents, and someone decided they were a bunch of group of people were. Gonna, oh, that was close. A group of people was going to uh, summon the King in Yellow, who was basically like this eldritch creature associated with something called the Yellow Sign. Um, by the way, viewers, have you seen the Yellow Sign? As I was saying. Um, but this, uh, particular- Ah! What's this? Interesting. Ah, it's another of these rooms with a book in it. Fascinating, but not of much use for us right now, I'm afraid. So let's just get our way out of here, head on back from whence we came. Now, as I was saying, so our player- the players- we were with my character. Like nobody in the group had the ability to drive a car. Nobody chose drive for a skill, which is kind of an important skill, you know, if you're going to be. Uh... Ah, I hear water. Dealing with the horrors of the mythos. Kind of want to be able to drive a car. Ah, statue to Cthulhu, but we don't really need his power right now. But yes. Um. So. Ah. So the people in my group had pretty much. Ah, another wizard man. Give me a second here. Here another. Where is he? I have no idea where he is. Oh, as I was saying. So, this particular group of, uh... One of, like, we... We had a cop who just literally had a copy of the play, The King in Yellow. Which is like a... Y y you're... It's, it's bad. You don't want to have it. You do not want to have a copy of this play. It pretty much drives people crazy. So... Ah, that lizard man didn't wake up. Excellent. But, um... So, the play... 
one player is like, okay, well, he didn't have any library use skill at all, which is like basically the skill you need to read. So he was pretty much illiterate. So he kept he kept mis he tried to read the play, and he couldn't. So my character gets really really pissed off. I was like, okay, for for God's sake, I'll read it. So my character picks it up, goes insane, and just yes. All because, all because my character, this one character, could not read. This is also an RP where we, you know, ran over one of our party members and that's how we met them. And also the same RP where we pretty much all got, we, like, my phone went off. Oh! Oh dear. I don't want any of that. Yeah, my, my character's phone went off and, uh, <laughs> and, um, ended up startling a uh, non-player character that dropped, like, cake on us. It was pretty bizarre. Do you not want to hear about my weird-ass RPG exploits? You want me to play the game, so play the game I shall. And by the way, if you are interested- Ah! I do actually run Call of Cthulhu games. Oh my god, I have the bet. I have a really good story. Another really good Call of Cthulhu story. Um. So... This actually also has to do with the king in yellow, coincidentally enough. Um, my players ended up, they were investigating a building that had a bunch of cultists of um, the king in yellow, uh, Hester the Unspeakable. Basically, the king in yellow is his avatar. Ah, oh, here, lizard man. Where? How did you get out? Okay, so they're investigating this uh, cult place, right? But they found out that these guys were all cultists. And, um... So... <laughs> they actually... I don't know who was shooting at me, but somebody was shooting at me. So they were investigating these cultists, right? And they ended up, um... They ended up actually making their way to this eldritch city where the King in Yellow resides. Don't ask me how. It was a bizarre RP, okay? And they make it there. And one of the players, their response to seeing the king in yellow is to shoot him. They did not survive. I'm just like, you shot! You shot him in the face! What did you expect to happen? That's another thing you should you should know from this uh, from this game. You know, if there's one thing you learn from my stories. In this, in this Let's Play, it's don't shoot the king in yellow in the face. He does not appreciate it. Ah, another way out. That's probably our way out over there. Let me hazard a guess. Yeah, that's our way out. But I'm not done exploring, so I'm going to keep exploring a little more. Yeah. Do not shoot Hester the Unspeakable in the face. Do not shoot anything with the, with the additional name The Unspeakable in the face. Do not shoot any Eldritch Abomination in the face. You will not live... You will not live. It's better than what my other player was gonna do. She was gonna try to talk with him. Haha! <laughs> oh, Lizard Man Central! Oh, sweet buttery Azathoth on a biscuit! Sweet buttery Azathoth on a biscuit! Goodness, ow! Oh dear. Oh, well, that wasn't too bright of me, now was it? Mm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna risk myself on the rotten meat. And I'll risk myself again. Yes, just like yes, just like in real life, eating rotten meat and toxic fruit is a crapshoot. It could either help you or get you sick. Either you throw up, or you feel just fine. Again, just like real life. What? He was in the shame corner. <laughs> You're allowed to put this lizard man in the shame corner. <laughs> what? <laughs> he was just did he was just standing there, facing the wall. <laughs> it's like, what happened there? <laughs> Didn't you go all like, okay, you know what? You have betrayed me for the last time. <laughs> go take a time out. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna make that canon. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have 
next time I run a campaign and Nyala Hotep is in it, I'm gonna have him just give his <laughs> minions timeouts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, at least this isn't turning into a huge train wreck like the last time I tried to. Ha ha! Lizard man, you cannot stop me! You cannot stop me! <laughs> oh, we're not gonna go that way. There's two cone things in there. Once again! What is the point of this room? What? Dare I ask? <laughs> You're trapped. How does that feel, being trapped? How do you like it? Can I sneak up on him? Huh. Huh. I wonder if I can get him to come in here. Yes. Further. Yes. Good. Excellent. Good horrible monstrosity. Nice horrible monstrosity. <gasps> Who's a good abomination? Who's a good abomination? <gasps> you are! Yes, you are! Okay. If I can shoot him in the head? Ha <laughs> ha! He didn't even see me. It's called peripheral vision! Do you have it, bitch? Do you have it, bitch? Yes, I did just teabag a lizard man. What of it? You gonna say anything? No. I thought not. Exactly. You know you won't say anything because I have infinite wisdom. I know all and I see all. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying, you know, I'm I'm a mask of Nyala Hotep. I'm just saying I know everything. Besides, I'm too adorable to be a mask of Nyala Hotep, right? You know, surely if I were a mask of a Eldritch Chaos God, I'd be a little bit more frightening, wouldn't I? Right? You can trust this voice. Of course you can. Just keep telling yourself that. Hello! How are you? I'm gonna kind of seal you in here, if you don't mind. And I'm gonna keep on moving. Moving on up to the east side. To that deluxe apartment in the sky. Okay. Yeah. I really do love this lizard snazzy bowler hat. I promise you there is a much better shopkeeper coming in the next level, but as for right now, come on. Snazzy lizard man in bowler hat. What is not to like about that? Aw. That knife though. That knife though. You have no idea, I have so many freaking bloopers for this this Let's Play. So many. I have one where I pretty- Oh! Oh, I didn't even barely see that lizard statue. Hey, where'd you come from? You go away. Nobody needs you. Nobody likes you. Nobody wants you. Well, now. Gonna just keep on heading down. But you're now on, I think, the- Final level of three? Or are we only one level down? I don't know. I'm not positive. Whee! I love these crumbly panels. Oh, I thought that was a tripwire for five seconds. My question is, what if anything- <laughs> Phase through a ladder. Come here. Just in time. That could have been really bad. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh sweet buttery Azathoth. Ah Too many monsters. Too many dicks on the dance floor. There's too many dicks! Okay. So, as we keep going, you can see how having all the health you can get is beneficial. Unfortunately, you don't always get as much health as I've been able to get. I'm very, very lucky. Normally, I don't end up with this much health. 
Hey, another bank. Either Nyarlathotep is giving us his blessing, or this money is cursed. You know, Egyptian pharaohs always have the curse. I do so dearly hope I don't start sprouting tentacles. That would be quite unpleasant. <sighs> Shut up, viewer. I know exactly what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking about me and tentacles. Yeah, I totally know what you're thinking about me and tentacles. You're thinking I would be the best Eldritch Abomination ever. That's exactly what you're thinking. I know exa- see, see, I can read your mind. I know exactly what you're thinking. At all times. Forever. Like I said, I'm- I'm not saying I'm a- I'm a mask of a chaos god from beyond space-time. I'm just- I'm saying- all, all I'm saying is, is I know everything. I see everything. Hee <laughs> I wonder if I can trap him in here. Make this his prison. Hey. Now as long as he doesn't sneak up on me- I hear him! Hey buddy. Where'd you go? Where are you? I don't know where he went. That's frightening to- oh. Oh, that's just a whole big corridor of nope. Just gonna ignore that for now. There is a way through there. I'm winged to that, but... Doesn't seem like it's gonna be very fun. I mean, unless I run for it. But even then, that seems a little dangerous. But I can see the soul of Nyarla Hotep glimmering over there. The soul of the crawling chaos. Which we require. It's much more suited to what we need to do with it than what... I don't know, Gnarly needs to do with it. What's he using his soul for, anyway? Maybe, maybe, maybe it's... On second thought, maybe it's not such a good idea to wake the, uh, horrible Eldritch Chaos God. Maybe we shouldn't wake him up. I think he seems pretty happy sleeping. Ah! That's where you got off to! I wondered where you went. I was worried about you. Goodness! Don't run off like that again! Do you have any idea how worried I was? <sighs> hey. Hey. <sighs> hey. I want you to follow me. <laughs> what? Come get me. Or don't. Fine. You know, I'm done playing with whatever the hell that is. I'm just gonna keep on going. That's the way I was before. Ah! You dead, son! Oop, dead is! Oop, dead is! You dead! You dead! Yeah, there is one take of this particular level where I just... I just lost it! I just completely lost my mind. Alright, so we have a couple ways we can do this. But particularly, I think the best is just sneak behind these statues here. Blast hole in the wall. Can't get us. Can't get me. Can't get me now, can you, you sons of Biaki? <laughs> you can't get me now! Ah, yes, the Chaos God's soul is ours. Let's place it on his appropriate pedestal. <laughs> Two souls. Gross, it's all wet. Gross, it's all sandy. Seriously, it's all sandy. Have you ever had sand in your shorts? Try that in your soul. I feel unclean. Ugh. 
Alright, well, that just about does it for this particular level, so I think that's about it. So, until next time, this is the Phantom Safety Pin signing off, and I will see you in the next level for the Book of Cthulhu. See you later! Yarlahotep is the Cthulhu Mythos God of Chaos, and in fact is referred to as the Crawling Chaos. He's also the only one in the game that is actually a god in the Mythos proper. Yarli is considered to be the voice and soul of all the Outer Gods, frequently visiting with followers in various guises called Masks. He's one of the very few Lovecraftian deities that has any sort of personality, and comes off as somewhat of a trickster or outright tempter of the innocent, a bit like Satan. He really, really likes humans, finding them easy to manipulate and use as pawns. He's also commonly connected with ancient Egypt, one of his masks is known as the Black Pharaoh, chaos and madness, witchcraft, technology, and the relentless march of scientific progress. He is first depicted in Yarlahotep, and plays a very prominent role in Dreams in the Witch House. He's also mentioned in several other stories as well, making him a very important mythos deity. I'm not sure what these guys are actually supposed to be, but they appear to be very, very loosely based either on mummies or on the great race of Yith, which were a scientifically advanced alien race that could swap their minds into the bodies of other creatures, including humans, in order to study other alien species. Generally one of the few somewhat benevolent, if not neutral, races in the Cthulhu mythos, the Yith were entirely wiped out during a war with the Flying Polyps. As for the enemies in Eldritch, these guys are tall, slender, frightening-looking apparitions that cannot be killed, ever. If they take damage, they collapse for about two seconds and then get right back up and keep moving. Their melee hurts for two damage, and they are nearly silent when they're moving, but they're too tall to enter most spaces like doorways and alcoves. The best policy is simply to avoid them, or knife them, and run. They can also be lured into spike pits and traps, but this is risky at best and suicide at worst. You know what weeping angels are, right? Well, now they make them in lizard flavor. These guys will generally do nothing to you unless you're about five blocks in front of them, or one block to the side of them, at which point they'll wake up. If you turn your back on them at this point, you'll end up being hit from behind for two damage as they teleport directly to you. The best policy for dealing with these guys is simply to never wake them up to start with, and to never let them out of your sight if they do wake up. But you can always shut a door or put a wall between yourself and an awake one. They can also be blown up with a TNT, dropped down to the next floor, or bricked off with a specific spell. I was at first confused by why these are in this chapter, because they don't seem to represent anything specific from Lovecraft's works, but upon closer inspection, they may very well be Serpent Men. However, the Serpent Men, literal snake people as their name implies, traditionally worshipped Yig, a great old one connected with snakes, not Nyarlathotep. This race died off after a few of its members started worshipping a different god, which pissed off the very fickle and temperamental Yig. Yig's anger was so great he destroyed the entire civilization. Sorbent men or lizard men, whatever they are, they're vicious, fast, agile, and mean, with a hefty 3 hit point life bar, a nasty ranged attack that hits for 2 damage, and an up close melee attack. They're easily the most dangerous enemy in the main campaign, and part of the reason that the Book of Nyarlathotep has such a reputation for being difficult. They're best dealt with quickly by being shot down from a distance. <laughs> <laughs>